Hi there. Are you looking at neighborhoods in St. Louis? My name is Johanna Duran. I'm a realtor with Circa Properties here in beautiful St. Louis. And today we are touring the Dogtown neighborhood. Dogtown is super, super centrally located in St. Louis. It is just south of Highway 40 and Forest Park. It's just north of Highway 44, so there's a lot of really easy highway access. It's just east of Richmond Heights and super close to Clayton, so it's very convenient for people that work in Clayton. Um, it's also super accessible to downtown, so because you're so close to Highway 40, you can just kind of hop on the highway or take a quick Uber ride to a Cardinals game or a Blues game and um, can get really anywhere super quick. The architecture in Dogtown is really cute. It's a lot of these little brick bungalows. Everything is a little bit different. So you're not going to, you know, find a bunch of cookie cutter houses right next to each other. When they built these houses anywhere from the 1920s to the 1950s, they, you know, they did things a little bit differently then. So all of the houses look a little bit different. They all have a little bit of their own character. Lots of St. Louis red brick. and um, smaller yards. So you're not going to have as much yard space. And in general, the houses in Dogtown are going to be a little bit smaller. But the nice thing about that is that that makes them a whole lot more affordable. Dogtown has a very good mix of housing. There are lots of single family houses for sale. There are also lots of single family houses to rent. Um, there's a good rental community here if you are looking for something to rent. Maybe if you're moving to town and you're not sure about where you want to live yet, Dogtown would be a good option. It's very centrally located and there are lots of good rental opportunities in the neighborhood as well. The area that we are coming up on here is the intersection of Clayton and Tam where they're is a lot of, this is like, like the central commercial part of Dogtown. Lots of the bars and restaurants are here. Um, coming up on the right is one of my all-time favorite places called Tam Av Bar. It has a huge patio on the back. It's right here with these little black awnings. It has a huge patio on the back, which you can't really tell from the front, but it's very dog friendly. It's the kind of place that has fire pits and bags to play. There's a big outdoor bar and there's actually even a outdoor arcade in the back, which I don't think is necessarily made for kids, but I can tell you my kids enjoy spending some time there when we go up and bring the dogs up for an afternoon just hanging outside. Like I said, as far as the single family homes go in the Dogtown area, most of them are going to be a little bit on the smaller side, um, anywhere from two to three bedrooms, usually just one to two bathrooms. You're not going to find a lot of finished basements. You're not going to find bigger yards, but uh, you will be able to find some with garages or with a carport. Um, you will also be able to find what you see here, lots of really charming, cute, adorable front porches. And what's nice um, about them being a little bit smaller is that it is a lot more affordable. So you're so centrally located, but um, the houses are going to run you a lot less than some of the other parts of town. So um, currently right now we are in June of 2020 and there are seven houses on the market, all ranging from 170,000 up to just under 300,000. Um, but that one that's 300,000 has been on the market for a while. So I would think it might be just a little bit overpriced. Generally, you're going to find anything between 175 up to maybe 250 at the max. Unless you're looking at new construction, there is a good amount of new construction in the Dogtown area that can go as high sometimes as four and 500,000. One of the Dogtown area's biggest claim to fame is the Ancient Order of Hibernians St. Patrick's Day Parade every year. It's held actually on St. Patrick's Day and Dogtown gets a huge crowd. It's a huge parade. It's a huge St. Patty's Day celebration. So if you are not one for giant parades and giant crowds, uh, maybe you're just hunkering down on St. Patty's Day. But um, it's a lot of fun and it gets very, very busy. One of my favorite parts of Dogtown is what we're coming up on here now. It 
it sits just south of Forest Park and you can literally walk right across the highway. There is a bridge uh, that we'll see here in just a minute that you can walk across. It is very pedestri pedestrian friendly, so you can walk straight into Forest Park. So you can avoid traffic for all of the big festivals in Forest Park. You can just walk right over to the zoo. You can walk to the art museum. There are fantastic running paths and biking paths. Um, as we come around the corner here, you will see that bridge, which it's a huge, huge plus for the neighborhood. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe down below. I put out new videos every week about St. Louis neighborhoods, St. Louis schools, buying and selling property in St. Louis. And if you have more questions about Dogtown or any other neighborhood in St. Louis, please don't hesitate to reach out.